you are beautiful. And none of that value is attributed to how much you weigh. and welcome to the start of another cozy video. Today I just have planned a super cozy chilled day. Originally the intention was to head out into the world and maybe do a spot of shopping, window and probably real life shopping, but I woke up this morning to lots of drizzle, it's not very pleasant outside and so it's really not very appealing to leave the flat today. But I do still have plenty of things that I would like to crack on with today. Lots of cozy little tasks. Something that I definitely want to do today is do some autumnal baking. I made a list on my phone of some autumn baking that I would like to get done this year. And the one that is really calling to me today is cinnamon buns. And I found a recipe that only has one proof in it, so it shouldn't take quite as long. I've also been thinking a lot about my autumn winter wardrobe for this year, and I still need to get quite a lot of it out of storage. In one of my previous videos, I showed some outfit ideas with the stuff that I already had out in my kind of year-round wardrobe, but I do have quite a lot of pieces hidden away, squirreled away since before we moved, and I'm in a little bit of a funk at the moment with my clothing, and getting that itch to go out and try and find a few new pieces. And so before I do that, I want to really go through, comb through everything that I have and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything because it's so easy to get wrapped up in an idea of like looking through Pinterest and seeing all of these really cool outfit ideas and obviously not having the exact thing, but it's so easy to overlook the things that you do have that can be used in those places. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go through all of my autumn winter stuff that's currently in storage and swap it out with my summer things that need to go away for the year. Tonight I wanna make a heartwarming soup because it's definitely soup weather today and I also wanna make something super nourishing. So a veg packed soup sounds perfect and then I might do a movie night tonight. We will see, I'm not 100% sure where the day will take us. Originally, I was going to go out and about this morning. I've got library books to return and I do need to do a spot of shoe shopping, which is the worst kind of shopping for me. I really, really don't like doing it, but I do not have any waterproof shoes at the moment. And that is a problem when you live in a very, very rainy English city. So we'll see if we end up getting out and about today. It might just be that it is a super, super cozy day at home, which honestly also sounds really great to me. So if that sounds good, then go and make yourself a warm drink. I made a coffee this morning, but I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna taste disgusting. I think I have over extracted the coffee. Um, I'm still getting used to having a mocha pot. I've never had one before, but that is what George has. I made a really good cup of coffee the other day, but 
this does not smell the same. It smells very bitter, so I'm a little, a little worried. Let's see. Ooh, that is not a good cup of coffee. <laughs> it's okay. We can try again. Without further ado, I'm gonna go and get the ingredients prepped to make cinnamon rolls. Although it only has one proofing in it, it's still not the shortest recipe. So I wanna get cracking with that and let it get to its first stage of rising. And then we can go and look through some clothes together. Yeah, it's not getting, it's not getting any better. To the kitchen we go. A long time but the steps are actually quite easy it's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be um, but it has taken quite a while and we've still got a way to go the recipe says to leave it to rise for its first and only rise for 60 to 90 minutes so I set a timer for an hour that in the living room so i'm just keep looking over at them i figured that was probably the warmest place in the flat we get a lot of sunlight in here and the sun has come out it is absolutely beautiful now so we may still end up leaving the house we will see where the day takes us so i've got to wait about an hour to an hour and a half for these and then pop them in the oven for about 25 minutes half an hour so We've got a little bit of time on our hands before I can realistically leave the flat. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to dig out a bunch of my autumn winter clothing uh, and pajamas. I'm super excited to get those out of storage too. Anyway, let's go and dig out some old wardrobe favorites. I was originally going to get it all out at once, but that is going to be super overwhelming to deal with. I forgot I had so many hats and scarves and gloves. Like how many pairs of gloves could I possibly need? One, two, three, four, five, six pairs of gloves. Crazy. <laughs> I have been waiting to be reunited with my most favorite jacket. I got this secondhand last year i think or the year before and it literally feels like i'm wearing a duvet it's the best jacket ever not quite cold enough probably to wear it just yet but we are approaching that day any day now and i want it to be ready for the day that i can wear it so i'm going to start putting away any of the things that need to go back away and then we can go from there Thing. I've got long sleeved into three quarters and then all of my 
t-shirt. Literally, as I finished that clip, the timer went. Perfect, perfect timing. So let's go and check on the cinnamon rolls. I'm so excited to see how they're looking. Okay, let's do the grand reveal together and see, they should have doubled in size. Oh yes. Oh, they are ready for the oven. I can't get over how good they look. Look at these beauties. I don't know whether I slightly overdid them or not, or maybe I just have rarely seen a cinnamon bun. In fact, have I ever seen a cinnamon bun without icing on top? I don't think I have. Maybe these are perfect. They smell incredible. So sweet and like brown sugar and butter and cinnamon. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. All right, it's about half two now and I've just finished doing my wardrobe organizing for today. I don't think I'm fully in the mood to do a full declutter but I have put aside some bits and bobs that don't fit or just not my style. And I've put away all of the very much like summer, spring and summer stuff. I did leave out a couple of summery things, a few dresses, cause I like to layer them. And also a, a couple of skirts, like summery skirts. I've put one on now because it is 18 degrees outside and I think it's gonna get a little bit warmer, but my wardrobe is looking so, so much better. I think that's one of my top three sounds. It look fancy lipstick cases closing and now I get to experience that whenever I put lip balm on. It's great. Not sponsored at all, but do you have a discount code linked in the description as well if you wanna go and grab one. The refills are really decently priced when I looked it up. But yeah, anyway, I definitely haven't drunk enough water today. I've been go, 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 which is unlike me, to be honest. I usually do make quite an effort to drink enough water, eat enough, etc. And to be fair, I think I have eaten enough today. I had breakfast before I even began this and then heated up some leftovers in the oven before I popped the cinnamon buns in, which I am just so thrilled with how they have turned out. And with that in mind, I was originally just gonna make like a vanilla glaze to go on top, which would be absolutely delicious. But the quintessential cinnamon bun experience does have the cream cheese frosting on top. And because the weather is still so gorgeous, so sunny outside, I think I'm just gonna have to go and get some. So I'm gonna go into town. And if I wanna go into some shops and look at some shoes and some clothes, I can, but I'm feeling a little bit anxious about going out today. So I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself. I think I'm just gonna have to go when I get a little bit of momentum um, and just roll with it and see how long I want to stay out because it is already coming up to like 3 p.m uh so it might start getting quite busy in town quite soon anyway so then we can finish the cinnamon buns and I think that will be the perfect afternoon treat to look forward to I'm so excited to try them they turned out so much better than I anticipated and I just hope that they're fluffy I'm soft. I'm so excited. So let's get cracking and get out of here. <laughs>
So I'm back. I got pretty much everything foodie wise I needed to get. Some more milk, pasta sauce, some instant coffee because we were out. The most important one is the cream cheese that we need for the frosting. And then just some regular cheese because we're almost out of that too. It was so busy in town. I actually am flummoxed. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so busy, but I suppose we're entering that like freshers week. So all of the uni students were shopping for food, for clothes, for the house things, I guess. So it was so busy in town. It's actually just gone 5.30 p.m. So I was out a little bit longer than uh, initially I was going to be, um, but it was just a lot of waiting around and just trying to get past people took forever. But anyway, I'm back now. I'm feeling really hungry because it is nearly dinner time, I guess. But because I'm going to make a soup this evening, I don't feel like making that right now. I feel like I need to just sit down with a cup of tea for a bit. So I'm going to make the frosting. I'm going to put these away and I'm going to have a cinnamon bun and a cup of vanilla rooibos tea. That just sounds like the perfect end to this afternoon before we start getting into the evening soup making and maybe a movie we will see so let's pop this away once again with sweet treat and cup of tea in hand. I feel like this is a recurring theme in my last few videos. <laughs> I'm so, so excited to try this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's very good. <laughs> I will link the recipe down below. I only made a couple of adjustments to it. I added a little bit of vanilla to the dough itself and then for the frosting for some reason i overlooked the fact that it also needed butter but i feel like there's so much butter in this recipe so i just made a simple icing with cream cheese and icing sugar and it tastes really really good as well i feel like it looks exactly the same i do wonder whether i marginally overbaked this but it's very good anyway mm. Vanilla rooibos tea has become my new autumn favourite tea. My friend Kath, if you're watching this, hello and thank you for this tea, Kath, introduced me to this on a walk that we went on together. And it is just so good with a little splash of oat milk. It gives me the same satisfaction of like an English breakfast tea, but it tastes completely different. I don't know how to explain it. I don't understand it, but I appreciate it. So although I was out in town for quite a long time in the end, I wasn't super successful in my hunt for the things that I really, really need. But having said that, I did find two things. The first one is, I think both of them were from Uniqlo. The first is just a basic white t-shirt that I needed a refresh of. So I have two white t-shirts in my collection. I have this one, which is shorter and tighter and is really nice with like high-waisted things um, but then i also have one that is a little bit longer boxier and just more casual i love layering that under jumpers with cardigans just when i want something a bit with a bit more volume on top that's the one that i go for but mine the collar on it has kind of just like rolled down and it just won't won't get put it back in place it's starting to go really thin in places and so it was time for a refresh i just thought it was really nice i love the sleeve length and i really like the little detailing on the bottom i thought that was really cute and this will just go with everything this is a all year round staple and then the other one is a pair of jeans and the best thing about this in my opinion is that these were on sale so i think i paid about 13 pounds instead of they're normally like 35, 40 for Uniqlo jeans. So that was a steal. And I've never had this kind of wash before. 
I think it's really, really nice. What was really important was that they had a little bit of stretch or a little bit of wiggle room around the waist really for me. What I haven't said in this video so far, other than I've been decluttering and getting rid of a few things is that a couple of weeks ago, I went to try on a pair of jeans and then another pair of trousers <laughs> to get ready for work and realized that they were not, they were not gonna close on me. And if they would, they, I would feel very uncomfortable all day long. And initially this was quite upsetting um, because I think I hadn't quite realized that my body had changed. And there is such a set idea of how we're all supposed to look and all of these preconceived notions of what our bodies should look like. And these usually come from other people, but it's so easy to internalize them. And so when I realized that quite a few pieces of my clothing were not fitting how they used to or how they did last year, or even just a few months ago, I felt really, and it made me super, super uncomfortable. I have always been a proponent and have always told my friends and people in my life that clothes are meant to fit you and you are not designed or you are not made to fit into clothes. And so whilst I was thinking about these wonderful clothes, which I've accumulated over many years and that I love all of them, um, should I try and fit back into these clothes or should I go out and find a few pieces to fill that void. And I decided that for my mental health, that it was better for me to just find a couple of key pieces to fill that little area that was currently not taken by any clothes because they didn't fit. I just wanted to mention that because it is part of this video in the fact that it's been playing in my mind all day when I've been looking for stuff. Um, is, is that kind of rhetoric. And so I wanted to share it with you. And I also just wanted to remind you that you are beautiful and you are so loved and so valued and so valuable. And none of that value is attributed to how much you weigh and what clothes suit you and fit you and what you like to wear. So here is to embracing everything about ourselves this season and enjoying sweet treats of the season, delicious drinks, and really fun fashion. So I'm going to finish this cinnamon roll. I'm gonna take a little break and just wind down for a bit and then I'm gonna get cracking and make some soup. I'm just gonna make a super hearty veggie soup. Maybe put some beans in there for some protein. It's gonna be delicious. But I will say goodbye now because I wanna make sure that I get that in. It would be so heartbreaking to me if I finished this video and never ended it properly. So thank you so, so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. I hope you're enjoying September so far. Thank you for being here. Take care and I will see you very soon in another video.